freed the Excalibur wielding Giga Chad getaway yet again. That's my favorite character. And let's keep us still on the Sasuke arc. Now, what's going on with the Issei? Because there's two new girls. One of them actually we used to know, and they're kind of crazy. One of them is kind of more like brooding, more cool, edgy, and the other one is just a fucking freak. In the name of the Lord, please. BDSM is what I'm getting from the vibes from her. Now, what are we gonna do? We're fighting them. Let's figure out today's reaction. Right into it, okay. Ah, man. Yeah. She is pretty stacked. This girl is deranged in the head, dude. It looks like you're really enjoying yourself. Dress break. Actually, if you dress break her, she might get really horny and even pop off even more. The ability reflects the grudge. Are all these swords like his fallen comrades from the experiment? Ah, he says fine. He's got the left arm of the dragon. Uh huh. Uh huh. He can wield it too, right? Yeah. That is so OP. Yo, we should sacrifice her entire body. Cameraman is taking an L right now. The ass is blurred out. Busto! Dress break? Dress break. But like, what happens if we use dress break? I feel like she would really get horny and she'll be fine with it. She'd be like, oh, the Lord is looking at my bare skin. Oh, man. Koneko, whose team are you on? I don't really blame her. <laughs> Koneko, come on! But doesn't the dragon, like, um, instinctively make all women drawn to the dragon? So I would imagine Koneko, Koneko to a certain extent, even she is drawn to Issei. Only one. That needs holy ju like, what's the word? Holy justice? Retribution is that girl. What the fuck is the point of looking at my fire and ice sword if she can just fucking slash it and so easily? Whoa. Damn. Kind of missed the mark though. Right. Each Excalibur has its own theme. Destruction. Just very strong destruction. Which one does Freed have? I don't think we know. That's right. We're here to destroy them. Dress break. Or just laser beam. Yo, if she takes this, is she gonna be alright? No, it's never mind, it's dress break time. <laughs> Shameless. <laughs> we have to touch her first, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, they're swift and fluid. What else is swift and fluid, Akino? Look at those hands, reminding me of Kazuma from Konosuba. Hmm? Don't touch the sword though! Are you serious? The two girls? It's not even Akinu and Rias either, bro! You fucking degenerate. You should be saying sorry! Deserved. I think deserved. Koneko's uppercut pose is pretty cool while covering her tits. Yeah. Th that was divine retribution. I think the battle is over between these two. <laughs> Not yet. Watch him touch her. Just touch her right now. You can't play this heroic soundtrack. You can't talk like a fucking main character getting back up after he hit his limit when you just fucking stripped, uh, you know, Koneko and Asia. Mm. <laughs> He's the Harm King. Let him do what he wants. Uh. Just by foreshadowing. Foreshadowing, absolute foreshadowing. He won't have to touch the girls anymore. You can just look an instant strip. Oh my god. When is that gonna happen? Like season three, season four? Yeah, you underestimated his degeneracy. What? What happened? 
<gasps> oh, he got cut. Holy sword. Damn, even just the graves does so much damage. It's busted. Reset? Reset as in all his boost stacks are done? Wait, what? Because all of it has to do with his physical strength, like his well-being. I love how <laughs> Poor Koneko. Wait, why is Koneko turning around this way? It's for the fucking audience, bro. So weak, he say. But it's all right. We're building up towards something. Okay, Kiba, that's a pretty big sword. I'm going to say holy sword. It's just going to get smashed instantly, right? Another L incoming. Oh. What was that? Wait. That was like a stomach attack with the with the hilt, I think. Yeah. Oh. Surprised that didn't pierce. It looks like a fucking axe. But it can't defeat her in strength. Kiba's judgment is getting clouded too. Exactly. He's too mad. Like. Kiba, bro, come on. She's right. Zenobi is right. It sucks, but. Damn, that's a disrespectful senpai. I'm sure Kiba will come back later, but right now it's pretty depressing watching him like this. Right, what were we doing? We're just gonna back out of their plans. They're gonna handle all that shit and we're just staying out of it, right? Which fallen angel stole the home Freed? <laughs> whoever, whoever fallen angel is in charge of Freed, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> freed? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was Freed! <laughs> so no! <laughs> My man Freed! <laughs> yes, the goat himself! <laughs> Excalibur! 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 I love him, dude! I hope... He doesn't meet his end this season. I need free to go all the way. Please make it to season four. Thank you, cameraman. Uh, define retribution? She's really cute. A little freaky. I like it, though. Here we go. Here we go. I don't really like these Tori girls. I don't know. They're just flat and... Oh, I like her, though. I like her, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm in. What is up with this girl again? Who is she? Why does she keep showing up? I don't know. Koneko! Koneko! What are you looking at, Koneko? Am I missing something right now? Oh, it's it's Sitori's family group, I think, maybe? You can't move. What are you, what's going on? Koneko! Koneko's always eating such extra extravagant desserts. <laughs> Zenovia and Amen girl. Oh, we're gonna get a little naughty, Kuneko. Breaking some rules. That's her title? The Invincible Rook? Damn. You know, I think that Zenovia will be a perfect Rook, man. It just makes sense. Destructive power. We have a spare piece. And the other girl, Amen. Knight. And oh my god, they're so poor. They're so poor. <laughs> Let's take him out to a restaurant. Exactly done. It's over. <laughs> they won't even show us Zenobia's face right now because she has to remain that, you know, dignified look. Yo, how many? What is Koneko drinking? Like, she has like four plates of dessert she's finished too. Sacrifice. This is perfect. They're gonna die. And then Rias comes up with the spare pieces. Resurrect. Grimory family. It's over. She's the knight. Zenobia's the rook. It just makes sense thematically. Oh, we found Kiba. <laughs> Kiba's fucking... You know, his look of vengeance. <laughs> so edgy. Zenobia would probably win. Yeah, let's, let's, let's help out each other. Come on. The leader. Garide. Genocide arc. What a title. Holy shit. That's like the main boss dude then, huh? Parents? <laughs> My man freed. I hope he doesn't die this arc. Emperor of Red Dragon, Hyodo Issei. What a fucking title. 
君たちを巻き込むわけには、うん、俺たち眷属だろ仲間だろ Damn. 違うのか And gay lovers, remember! We're gay lovers! 違わないよ Oh, but what? 大事な仲間をはぐれになんてさせられるか Main character moment だけじゃねえ Saji looks so out of place here. Come on, we're friends, right? Don't pull that Sasuke shit on me. The soundtrack is really good. <laughs> it's a fucked up context, but the soundtrack is really good. You're all a bunch of fucking failures! <laughs> there was no sacrifice! It was just a ruined project! But you know who wasn't the failure? My man, Farid, the chosen one. This is fucked. Damn, they sacrificed himself for Kiba? Wow. And then he passes out here, and then Rias finds him. And then Rias is wearing like a, like a Russian hat, right? Look at her outfit. I was always under the impression that his parents were involved because he said he didn't have family. But he always could have been an orphan, right? And then he had his friend groups that was killed, right? I keep saying, like, surely the experiment killed his family, like his parents, but, you know, those those children around that same, the same project, that's pro probably what he considered family back then. And then Rias, with the Russian hat. Oh. Adopt me too. Okay. Okay. Yo, where's my Rias? I need to put myself in a near-death situation so that Rias will show up. But life is an anime, so I'll probably just die. The soundtrack is still going so hard. Mm. And the sword birth is a result of that vengeance. It's like all his friends' death, you know, they manifested into the sword. <laughs> he was the one that was so not into it all this time. I wonder what Koneko thinks of it. Koneko! Koneko? Oh. Damn. Koneko is so sweet! She's so cute! How can this girl be so fucking adorable? I still think Koneko is cuter than Asha. What's she doing? Uh, she, nurse outfit? Uh, she's putting a lot of effort in tonight. Uh, to compete with... Oh. Thank you, I guess? Kiryu? Who's Kiryu again? That girl again! Yeah, it, it, it looks nice. But do you know why this dress helps people be happy? I don't think Ashi understands. No, no, no! I feel like we shouldn't subject Asha to do shit like this, you know? I, I, it feels weird. Thank you, cameraman. Right into her ass. Don't let mom and dad find out. Oh? The dragon is rising? You know what other way. Actually, she probably doesn't because she's so innocent. Wait, is it the old dude again? The one same dude? That we were like fishing with before? Or are we actually going out to fight? Okay, it was a lie. It was a lie. Or maybe it wasn't a lie. Look, he's talking. It's him again! What is this dude? I just feel like he's gonna be some kind of teacher. Some kind of like train trainer, you know? He's gotta have some kind of crazy plot relevance. Who is he? Huh? Who are you? Who, who are you? Huh? Who is this guy? It's a cooler Kiba, what the fuck? Who is he? I don't want to know that that dude that we, you know, Issei's new contact, his new client is a bad dude. I'm just hoping that he is somehow a super important person that is now retired and is chilling and might help Issei out in the future control his powers. That kind of deal is what I'm getting based off all the shonen shows I've watched. You know, it's that kind of trope. Now, Kiba is no longer too edgy, right? We're teaming up. We're going to go fight Freed and the genocide archbishop. I just, I just hope. I just hope that Freed makes it out of life. He's gotten away in season one multiple times. He's gotten away a couple episodes ago too. Please don't kill Freed, please. He's, I love him so much, even though he's an absolute piece of shit. And Zenobia and the other girl that I should know her name, the Amen girl, no fucking shot they don't join our team, bro. If you just look at their designs, 
One is a brute force rook. The other one is kind of agile knight. It just makes sense. And we have two extra evil pieces that we're going to use, right? Oh, it's coming, baby. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.